www.ecclesiastical.class.co.uk The first step to preparing the food for the hamster is to clean the food bowl and the water bottle. Using disinfectant, I'm going to spray the bowl and the bottle and the top. The disinfectant has been pre-diluted according to the recommended guidelines. After two minutes of contact time with the surface of the bowl and the bottle, I can then rinse these items thoroughly. I want to make sure that I remove all of the disinfectant. This is for demonstration purposes, but normally you would rinse under running water in the tap. Then the last step is to dry these before preparing the food. I'm going to use this bowl to feed the hamster. This is a shallow ceramic bowl. It's quite heavy, so the hamster who's likely to get inside the bowl won't be able to tip it over. And there's no cracks or chips in the top, so it won't injure the hamster in any way. So I need to place this onto the scales, making sure that the weight is at zero. Then I can add the hamster mix. This is a small animal mix. This is required for all small rodents. I need to give this Syrian hamster 10 grams. There we are. Adding to this diet, I'm going to give four mealworms. This is going to provide extra protein for the hamster. The hamster is an omnivore, so it eats plant and animal meat, um, and so we need to give it those mealworms. The extra part to the hamster's diet is to offer a small amount of fruit and veg. It needs to have a variety of different fruits and vegetables, but only four to five pieces per hamster per day. When you chop these, make sure you're keeping the pieces really small, no larger than your thumbnail. So, four to five pieces. The next thing the hamster requires, which is extremely important, is water. I'm going to add to the water bottle 150 mils of fresh water. This I would change every day. Add the top, and I want to check that this is working correctly. It's important when using a water bottle and tip like this that you check on a daily basis that is giving a small amount of water. It should not be dripping like this. So I'm going to provide the hamster with his feed. I'm going to place it in an accessible point at the front of the enclosure. And I'm going to add the water bottle. Feeding the hamster in the evening as it's a nocturnal rodent, so this is when it's awake.